Good morning, my friends, and happy Saturday. It is Saturday. It was a long week. Even though it was a short week, it was a long week. Um, we slept in a little this morning. It was so nice. We slept until like 6.15. Now we are up. Doug has school today. This is one Saturday a month. And I have, well, and we have a 90th birthday party today. His aunt is turning 90. You would not know it. Oh my goodness. You would have no idea this woman is 90. She still paints. She still is active. She is amazing. Um, so that's today. It's at a restaurant several towns over. Um, Doug is going to meet me there so we don't have to take two cars. And I'm going to ride with his mom and his brother because uh, he's going to be probably about an hour or so late. The party's from 11 to 3. And then Doug has to sing solo at church tonight. So we'll pretty much go from the party home so he can get changed because he's not wearing a shirt and tie to the party, just casual, uh, like business casual. But he'll need a shirt and tie for church. And then we'll head right out the door again. So it's going to be a very busy day. I will try to film a little bit of the party if I can. Um, but other than that, there is nothing going on. So let me tell you, if this is a boring vlog, you probably won't even say it. <laughs> um, tomorrow, Doug has homework to do. Um, we have no plans for tomorrow, but he does have homework to do. He has to write a speech. Um, this week is a demonstration speech. So he's been kicking ideas around the video that they showed um, to give them ideas or give them a demonstration of the demonstration speech with somebody tying their shoe. I told him he should do how to make French press coffee. I don't know what he's going to do. We'll see. But anyway, I am going to go exercise. I am going to do a 30 minute full body, low impact hit with weights this morning. I believe that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, I'll be back to chit chat some more while I'm getting ready. Okay, I ended up doing two workouts. I did a low impact um, workout and then I did a higher impact one. I haven't done burpees in a while. Oh, that felt good. Um, so now I am going to, and I just had a wonderful text conversation with Jason over at the Average J. Of course, we were talking chickens. Now I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I have, I call it an Olay omelet. It is an omelet, and inside I have a quarter ounce of raw milk cheddar cheese for one point. I have sauteed peppers that were in the freezer from our garden, and I have one slice of Canadian bacon. So my fillers are one point, and then I have, of course, I have eggs for zero points, and then I have some of my home canned salsa on top for zero, and I have a teeny tiny, you can't even tell how little it is, teeny tiny little English muffin. It was what was left of the dough when I made them last time. I'm going to count that as two points, not three, because it is so tiny. So my breakfast this morning is four points, and this will hold me for hours. And while I'm going to eat my breakfast, I'm going to listen to my catechism in a year, day 21. Oh, and of course, tea. Okay, house is straightened up after breakfast in the workout. I'm cleaned up. Now I'm just trying to coax the dog outside. She does not want to go outside. Ari, come on. Come on. She's going to want to go out the minute my brother-in-law pulls up. I know that. And that's not going to work for me. So I'm going to try to coax her outside. I'm not sure how. Um, and he should be here in about 10 minutes. And then we will head out. Um, that's that. I'm hoping to show you some clips of the party. We'll see what happens. I tend to get in the moment and forget things like that, but we'll definitely give it a try. I'm guessing that the one who's due any minute will not show. Okay, party is over. It was lovely. It was so nice seeing so many family members that we don't get to see very often and even Doug's aunt and cousins drove in from Indiana and we have not seen them we probably haven't seen his aunt in probably five seven years so it was really really nice seeing everyone and just talking and and I told you I probably wouldn't pick up the camera and I didn't 
Um, I did pick up to show you what I ate because transparency. Um, I had the little fruit plate. I wasn't sure I was going to eat that until I found out exactly what was in it just because of my fruit allergies, but it was all good. Um, and then I really couldn't tell what dinner was. It was a buffet. Um, there was like the penne in the sauce with cauliflower. I had like four little pieces of penne. That was it. And then I had like a maybe a quarter cup, probably not even a quarter cup of scalloped potatoes. And then some kind of, uh, it was a um, flounder with spinach in the middle, flounder florentine, and then I'm not sure if it was chicken or fish or, or pork with like a broccoli rob and roasted red peppers. I had a tiny little bit of that. So, and a big pile of green beans. So I think I did really, really well. Um, I did have dessert. I showed you, I found the smallest piece of cheesecake they had. And I had that. I had a couple cups of tea. So I'm very happy with how I did. I'm very happy with what I ate. Um, they had a whole table full of chocolate. I did not even touch that. So I, I kept myself busy. You know, I've said it over and over and over and over again that, you know, when you're at functions like this, yes, it's about the food. It's, it's a, you know, a catered dinner, but focus more on the family, the friends and the fellowship and not the food. And that is what I did. I walked around talking to people and, you know, that we haven't seen in a long time. And Doug has such sweet, amazing cousins and, and I just love them so much. Um, so I really, really had a good time. I was so, so happy to see the Indiana cousins. Um, that really, really made me happy. So anyway, we are heading home. We're gonna get changed. And Doug's gonna drink, drink, get a gallon of water because he had cheesecake and has to sing now. Um, and then we're gonna get to church, so. I'm not making dinner tonight. We will just have some either a picky plate or some popcorn or something because we just had our big meal. So if we're hungry, we'll just have a little snack later on. Um, haven't collected eggs yet today, so I have to do that. Was, hopefully the chickens didn't break them because sometimes if there gets too many in the nesting boxes and they walk in there, they'll step on them and break them, but hopefully not. So um, the car in front of us must be a huge Prince fan. His license plate is Purple Rain. So anyway, I well friends, we are home from church. We are in our pajamas. The chickens are put away. I had a nice long conversation with Jason over at the Average J about chickens. We had some planning to do for this spring with our um, Cornish rocks and stuff. And so, yeah, that was good. And then I attempted to cut the kitty cat's nails. <sighs> She's a drama queen. I got the front done, but not the back. And oh my gosh, wah, wah, the whole time, <laughs> Doug held her eye cut. So now we are going to make some popcorn. That's going to be our dinner. I know it's not the most nutritious dinner, but we had our big meal this afternoon. And neither one of us are really hungry, but we're a little bit noshy. So we figure popcorn's a great thing to have. Um, because it's zero points and it's really not bad. What else? Uh, we're going to watch, we have a episode of Ghosts on the DVR we're going to watch. And then we'll probably sit and read or something. Um, Adam had his track meet today. He did run. We weren't sure he was going to run because he's got that bum knee. But he did run and he didn't PR, but he didn't do horrible. He was right where he should be, especially with an injury. So he's going to get that iced and elevated. Um... So, yeah, that's it. I know, boring weekend here at the Stetzers. Tomorrow's probably going to be just as boring. So, oh, this is a really, I do not have these big dark circles under my eyes. This is, there's some kind of weird shadow going on. So, I don't look this bad, really. Uh, anyway, that is it. I will catch you all tomorrow. I am going to be making a breakfast pizza. Oh, I'm glad I said that. i got to get my sourdough out because I'm just going to make a sourdough crust. So, I'm going to go get that and call it a night. I will talk to y'all in the morning and show you our breakfast pizza. Good lazy Sunday morning, my friends. Yes, it is a lazy Sunday morning. We slept in a little bit 
and now we are making breakfast. I am making a breakfast pizza this morning. I am not making it with a traditional crust. I'm just using my sourdough. I got my sourdough out of the fridge last, or yeah, out of the fridge last night and fed it and whoo, it's big. It's over two years old, so it's very, very mature. I mean, it was in the fridge for probably over a week and it pops right back. So gotta keep it happy and fed so it's always ready for me. So what I did is I took my big um, cast iron skillet, my 12 inch, put it in the oven and turned the oven on to 400 degrees. And I'm letting the skillet heat up with the oven. And then I will just take, I don't know yet, I'm gonna start with three quarters of a cup of the sourdough starter, put it in the cast iron while it's hot. It starts cooking right away. Make a crust, pop it back in the oven for eight minutes while I prepare the rest of the pizza pull it out, top the pizza, put it back in. But I'll show you everything just in case you're interested. You can also do it with a regular crust. You can make either a yeast it crust or a two ingredient dough crust um, and put it on a baking sheet or in a skillet or whatever and also cook it. So we will show you that when we're ready to work on it. Okay, my original recipe calls for eight eggs, but we have our new little babies laying and their eggs are smaller than a large egg. They range anywhere between a small and a small medium egg. So I'm gonna use nine of them. Um, these are our little prairie bluebellers. You can't see on camera how blue it really is, but next to one of the green ones, you can kind of tell. So I am just gonna use nine of the little guys. I'm gonna beat them up in the bowl here. Doug is cutting up some Canadian bacon. You really, there's no really recipe for this. Basically, it comes down to how many points you want to spend on your breakfast. Um, now, eggs are zero points, but of course they have calories, but it's a good way to add in extra protein if you want to add a few more eggs. Eggs are a superfood in my world. Um, every, just packed with vitamins and complete nutrition um, and then you know you can you don't have to use Canadian bacon you can use regular bacon you can use sausage you can use scrapple you can use whatever you want and you can use as much as you want depending like I said on how many points you want to spend and then when it comes to the cheese same exact thing use whatever kind of cheese you want and however much you want of it a lot of times I don't determine it until I start building the pizza. And I also look to see what kind of points I'm gonna spend for the rest of the day and how many calories I'm gonna spend on this and on the rest of the day. So it's definitely, you can make it your own, you know, however you wanna do it. So I'm gonna beat those eggs up and we need to do the crust. Okay, I dumped some sourdough starter in. It is really hot, so I have to work really quick. As you can see, it's cooking already. I wanna get it spread out. This is about three quarters of a cup. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more just to make it go up on the sides a little bit. Let me see. Oh, maybe not. My starter is super duper thick today. I'm trying to make it a little bit of a deep dish here by building up the sides, but you can see it's pretty much cooking as I'm spreading it out. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit more that I had left in my cup. and patch a few of the holes that I made. <laughs> That's the nice thing about this, it's so forgiving. You can kind of just scooch it around, patch up those holes, build up the side a little bit if you want. I'm not going for pretty here, so. Okay, good enough for me, good enough for breakfast. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back in the oven for about eight minutes and let it cook 
while I get the rest of my toppings ready. Okay, so my cameraman didn't have the camera set to video. He had it set to photo. So all the talking I just did and all the building I just did didn't happen. So what I did is I took it out of the oven. I put my scrambled eggs on there. Usually I try to make them a little soft set because they're going to cook more in the oven, but they weren't quite as soft set as I like. Some people dump raw eggs right on there and let them cook, but I haven't had much luck with that. So I've got my eggs on the bottom. Then I have three pieces of Canadian bacon that are chopped up. I have those spread on top of the eggs. And then I have my cheese. And I have today two ounces of mozzarella and two ounces of raw milk cheddar. Sprinkle that on the top. Now it's gonna go back in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Um, I want the crust to be nice and golden brown and the cheese and everything to be all melty together. So sorry about that little camera faux pas. Not a big deal. It's, it's really not rocket science, my friends. So I'm gonna pop this back in the oven and I'll show it to you when it's done. So while the breakfast pizza is in the oven, I am going to sit here and look at my new Taste of Home magazine that came, the ultimate comfort issue. I think, well, let me turn you around and I'll talk. I have been a Taste of Home subscriber since the premiere issue. I have every single solitary issue they have ever put out. I have them organized in little magazine holders and... I still use recipes from the premier issue, but I'm going to tell you, I don't love it as much as I used to. I miss the old taste of home with no ads, which I know is, is not possible anymore in this day and age. I get that. I just miss like some of the features that used to be in it. They used to have like different, like it was always like tour my kitchen and, and like it would feature somebody's kitchen and. They just had some really, really cool features in there that I liked. And now, and all the recipes were just good, old-fashioned, homey, you have everything in your pantry that you need to make it recipes. Now I feel like they're trying to keep up with all the other cooking magazines and get a little bougie. And I understand they want to keep up with the times. I get that. But, um, yeah, I'm... I don't know. I just, I almost feel like they're trying to be a diet magazine. Like there's a whole bunch of, you know, keto and low carb recipes and I, I don't know. I just don't love it anymore. So I think I'm going to let my subscription go. I, I knew Doug, I was waiting. I kept looking over at Doug to see what his face would be. I, I think I'm going to let my subscription go when it's time to renew. I don't think, I'm not sure. I have to look and see when I'm due to renew. But what I may do is not have the magazine anymore and then get the um, annual issue for the recipes. But none of the fun stuff I used to like in the magazine is in the annual issues, like the kitchen and the kitchens and stuff. Like there's nothing. So I think I just might do that. I don't know because I'm really running out of room to store them. And I don't think I've made anything in the last couple magazines just because, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be a game time decision. Usually they offer it to me for like 10 bucks for the year and I take it. But we'll see. Game time decision for sure. But it's just not the taste of home that I used to love. So we'll see. But I am going to sit here and read this. I've got a little bit of time while the pizza cooks. And then we have to clean out the coop today. And Doug's got to work on some homework. And I found a new show on Netflix that I've been enjoying. Um, you know, all I watch is like cooking shows. It's, what's it called? Easy Bake Off? Easy Make? Easy? I don't know. It's like a spinoff of the Easy Bake Oven, which is very weird. But um, it's three contestants and they have to cook like quick and easy things like you can use you don't have to cook everything from scratch you can use some convenience foods um like some shortcuts like you don't have to make puff pastry you can use the frozen puff pastry um things like that and i don't know I've, i found it kind of interesting it was something to do the other night when doug wasn't home and i was bored so 
I've been watching that. I think I have like two more episodes to watch. So I might try to catch that today while Doug's working on some homework. I don't know. I don't know. I really should work on those tomatoes that I've been talking about for two months, but I need to get jar lids. So that's not happening today, but I don't, and I don't know if I really feel like doing that. Um, Jason and Michelle from The Average Day are supposed to pop over this afternoon to meet our new kitty. So that'll be good. And that's about it. But I'll be back when the pizza comes out of the oven and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, our pizza is all done and I'm just going to tip it out onto a cookie sheet or a cookie sheet? <laughs> Cutting board. And I'm just going to let the cheese set for a minute or two and then cut it. This serves six. You can do six um, pieces. I mean, you can do whatever you want, whatever you have the points and calories for, but that's how I have it calculated. So there it is, my friends. Breakfast pizza. Okay, it is time to clean out the coop and the run. So we are letting the girls run all over the place. Hello, Miss Willow and enjoy some free range time. Most of them go right into the garden and see what they can find in there. Any types of goodies or leftovers from the harvest. And we need to also do the run today because we have had so much rain that it's just muddy. So just, oh, we're doing a full coop clean out today, not a deep litter. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Any reason? Um, it needed it. It was really okay. I I, I piled on. Oh, and there, there, of course, is a nosy Nelly looking to see what's going on in there. But yeah, so full full coop clean out today. We'll refresh it with all new barn lime and sweet PDZ and pine shavings. The girls have been very, very busy already this morning. We've gotten a dozen eggs already, and it's not even one o'clock. So they're earning their keep today. Hopefully this will make the eggs a little cleaner now, too. Yeah, hopefully the eggs will be a little bit cleaner. They've been a little bit dirty because their feet have been dirty. But you can see, like, just the mud in the run. And, you know, like, they love to dig big holes and, and dirt, take their little dirt baths, their dust baths. So we're going to rake all this and get it nice and freshened up. I think in the summer, we might have a big load of sand delivered to put down. Um, I'm not sure yet. We're still discussing options. But that's what we're doing on this afternoon. It's not too bad out here, actually. Not too bad at all. Okay, we planned on having an early dinner, but life gets in the way sometimes. And we're just sitting down to dinner. So I have what I call the sensational salad. It's just a whole bunch of mixed greens on the bottom. And I have total an ounce of cheese. I have half an ounce of mozzarella and half an ounce of cheddar on there. I also got really lazy today, forgot to take chicken out. So I use the Butcher Box uh, free range organic chicken tenders that I showed you in my Butcher Box haul and threw four ounces of those on there, along with some tomatoes, a little bit of crumbled bacon, and my dressing. I'll put all the points and calories up on the screen. It's pretty high, but that's okay. This is only the second thing I've eaten all day, so I've got a lot of points left and a lot of calories left. Okay, my friends, that is it. I am calling it a day. I am so cold, I can't get warm. I am going to go get those get the kitchen cleaned up, get those chickens to bed, get on some super warm jammies, and crawl under a blanket. I've been helping Andrew do a few things all afternoon. He is completely and utterly overwhelmed. Um, I'm going to give a bigger update probably at the end of the week. Just please thoughts and prayers for him and Anne that the situation they are in is just not good. Um, and something's got to give. <laughs> Working on that. Um, and by the end of the week, hopefully, he'll have some ideas, some decisions made so yeah that's that um but whatever it is it's all good you know we told him and, and he agrees that it's out of our hands it's in God's hands his faith is so incredibly strong and he just it's all good <laughs> but it's been it's been a day <laughs> it's 
why I didn't pick up the camera very much. But anyway, not a great, exciting weekend. Hopefully we'll have some fun, good stuff coming up. I don't know. It's kind of hard with no spin January. Um, we'll have to see what next, what do we have next weekend? We have a christening next weekend, next Sunday. My little great nephew, um, Alex, is being baptized. So, so excited for that. Um, and I think that's, that's about it. I'm looking over at Doug, looking around the camera over to Doug. But I think that's it. So, but I'll see you during the week for a full day of eating and weigh-in and menu and I had a fantastic weekend eating. I really did. Um, I'm feeling so in control. I'm feeling so good. All the crap is out of the house, so it doesn't even, it's not there to tempt. Um, I feel like I'm detoxing from the sugar high that we were on for almost a month. Um, so anyway, that is it. Thank you for hanging in there with me as always. And thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. I am calling it quits now. So have a great night and I will see you soon.